my name is Kim Erickson. This is my wife and care partner, Libby. We're from Stillwater, Minnesota. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2010 and have been involved in the research advocate program since 2012. Uh, I'm also a, a nurse by profession and my father has Parkinson's as well as Kim. So uh, it's been really uh, a marvelous opportunity to be a research advocate and uh, learn more about the process to assist my own family. Well, the, the, our association was Struthers Cambot, obviously, because Kim was a patient there, and um, they actually nominated him to be a research advocate in this program, and so we both attended that, and so that began our association with the Struthers Institute. Um, after that, then, they began working on a project to determine what it was that kept people in research and came to us for a little assistance with that having already met us uh, you know in other research endeavors so we sat down with them and they designed a initially a um, a questionnaire that they would uh, have people fill out people who had been in research process there over the last three years and then had us help them to design the questions and then they also came up with a follow-up, more in-depth questionnaire, um, which they had us help with designing the questions and the format for that as well. So, it, within that process, um, PDF approached us looking for suggestions for people who might be good candidates for this leadership award. And you know, in that process, we suggested Struthers, and um, Struthers applied for the grant. We were involved with a study with Struthers Parkinson's Center in a study to determine why people stay in uh, research studies. Again, the overall goal was to find out what factors would cause them to drop out, to stay in, or to not even enroll in the process. So they looked at uh, demographics, the distances people came from, uh, all sorts of information we were asked to sit down with them, review the questions that they had come up with, and see if there were any modifications that we would suggest to improve the questions and to maybe uh, add others and delete some, just to make a better survey. What I recall is that with the number of questions, questionnaires sent out, they had a very high percentage of returns on the surveys. Uh, they were the, around the 90th percentile return rate, which is I think normally the re response they would expect to be in the 60% range. So they uh, had devised very good questions and uh, were able to get a large amount of information on why people stayed in research studies. Yeah, they. Um you're, you're correct on that. Is that it was it was probably you know in the the high 80s, low 90 percent um, of response, uh, and there were surprising results. It's, you know we we talked a lot about the problems about you know, getting into research and such, but when they're approaching it from the angle of what kept people in research, it was interestingly enough the feeling like that that they were contributing. That was sort of the overwhelming positive response. Um, not being paid or being, you know, having closer access to medical care. It was more that um, they wanted to contribute. We've been involved in several studies and uh, each one has been rewarding. Uh, it's, it's interesting to find out what's being researched. And I, again, as I mentioned earlier, that. The dedication of the researchers is, is is very astounding. A lot of them have committed their whole lives to developing a cure or finding 
treatments that do actually work and uh, they are really working hard out there to help the Parkinson's patients. Yeah, it's, there is really that, that sense of um, um, having contributed something, you know, and, and for everyone, you know, feeling like you're, you're purposeful and useful and, and that you've contributed something is, is you know, you can't deny it. It's, um, it makes you feel good. And, uh, you know, it's not to mention most of this, almost all of the studies we've been in have been fun. <laughs> yeah. To a certain extent, um, getting to just chat with the researchers and find out, you know, the the background is their individual backgrounds, why they're doing the study they're doing, what they hope to get out of it, um, the relationships that that you make with the research staff and the physicians and that, and um, you know, it it just makes you more involved in your patient care too, and, and your accessibility to people giving the patient care is improved as well.